Hey, what's up guys, it's Cupcake Man, and today I'm going to be talking about exteriors of houses, and I'm going to give you tips and tricks of what you can do on the outside of your house to make it look better overall, and um, this, later on I might add a tutorial on how to do in interior stuff, um, I think that really would help people too, but yeah, on the outside, it always starts with the outside, that's what a building starts as, you should always do the outside before you do the inside, that's kind of like a common sense question, but yeah, or a common sense thing. Yeah, so here I'll show you some tips and tricks that you can do. So the first thing you can do is adding like covers and colorful ones too. Like as you can see here, it, it's really colorful. You got your gray, your light gray, you got your red, your blue, and your white. And it looks really cool, especially when you're on the city streets and you see a colorful building. Like look at all this color and everything. It looks really cool. But yeah, that cover thing adds some shade when we're on shaders pack. And here, let me actually time set day. There we go. So now... If you're on here, then you, on the windows you actually have some shade, so it's not, you know, all shady when you look out, or maybe, you know, you have your bedroom right there. You don't want to be woken up by the sun or something like that. Yeah, really, that'd be really bad. And over here on the, uh, we have different stained stained glass, and we have a pattern which is really cool, and it adds some color to adding the stained glass with different colors. So we have blue, and then we have a little dot in the middle. It's kind of like brown dot. It looks really cool, and we have the window seal with different flowers, colorful flowers, and we have some grass too, and some tall grass right there. It looks really cool, and adds some, some design into it. And then we have this huge little box thing, it's, <laughs> it's really cool, but yeah, it's surprisingly, all these buildings are based off of this one building right here on this city street. It's based off all this, like one, or this one building, and everything on the street is built off of that, except for this apartment complex right here. Like, that is over there, that is over there, that is... And even that is, it's surprisingly, yes, it is, it is. Like, as you can see on there, that, like, brown, brown thing, that is right there. And I combined them two, like, I combined the two with World Edit. I used World Edit for that. And it made it look big. I did do some, you know, exterior stuff. I didn't, like, just leave it there and poof. You know, it looks really good. But, yeah, so that's, that's how it looked. Um, or that's how that uh, came about. And over here, let's talk about the window, uh, the window, uh, what do you call it? Seals, window seals, that's what I'm talking about. And we have the bushes. The bushes look really cool. And it's supposed to be like a big, large flower pot, but we don't have that in Minecraft. So that's what we're going to have to settle for. We got this a small flower pot and a little window seal area right here with a colorful flower, a yellow flower. And we got a little bat. Hello, bat. <laughs> He's trying to get out. And we got the uh, some more stained glass. And we got an open window, open adding open windows. They look really, really cool because, uh, you know, you normally don't see that. And, it's, and it gives them like a live feeling to the city or the town what do you want to say and that's really dark over there but yeah it, it looks it looks really really cool and adding support to to your buildings it looks really cool and you want to make them realistic you want to have just like everything and then just have uh you know your whole building and then no support beams inside like as you can see on here we have the quartz quartz uh pillars right like there 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 you know all these places and it holds the building up and right in the middle we have a huge wall that also holds the building up and it looks really cool and adds some some realism to the to the building over here we have like a large banner thing going across and over here we have some american flags that look really cool that look really really cool and um... if you guys want a tutorial on how to make those I'll, I'll do that if you want and yeah so here's some other things so yeah again here is a support holding up this window seal right here and it looks really cool and here over here is an emphasis point and i like to call them that because it really stands out I think emphasis standing out, and yeah, because it's a huge kind of like block, huge block thing on the side. And when you're going down the street, like here, let me go over here. If you look at it now from the building, you see that, like you just look over there and you see that huge thing right there, and it looks looks really cool. And you want to add stuff around that to look really cool too. You don't want to have like a blank face on this building right here, and you know just have that huge emphasis point. So people, when they look over there, they also want to see something on the side look really cool too. So over here we have this like shade area. Like on the, over there, like as you can see, like sun, you know, shade, sun, shade, looks really cool. Add something cool too, and uh, some more support beams holding up. And over here we have, uh, so like this was uh, originally a blank face with this cracked stone, and I'm on a Flows HD texture pack, so if you guys want that, that's how that cracked stone looks like. And yeah, that was a blank face, and then I added this quartz window seal around it to give like some some uh, some depth to the building. And it looks really, really cool. And we have a bench right here too. And, but yeah, it, it looks really cool. And adding stuff like depth to your to your buildings look really cool, and they make it a lot better. So like, this is how it started out. It started off like this, like a big square box with that kind of material right there, and it ended up being like that. It looks really cool. You got to keep on working on your buildings to make them look a lot better. 
and eventually you will get there and they will look a l you know really really cool and they will look like this uh, you know it, it, they look really cool I'm not saying this is the best building you've ever seen but you know it's gonna it's gonna look like that and this is I, I bet this is a decent building and up here yeah we have another thing right up here and it's like an emph another emphasis point so when you're kinda looking up here after you look at it for a while you'll probably like notice that up there looks really cool from a distance a distance ways way and adding greenery to your to your buildings look really cool and if we have here we have a green space underneath the the uh, flooring to this place so you know you're walking over here and it, you know add some green and some colorful and adding the trees always add trees last you don't want to add them before because if you uh, add them before then they're you know they might get in your way later on when you're building and then if you cut part of the tree it might not look natural and you know it's a lot of problems so just do it afterwards and it will you know, work a lot better uh, so what else we got and adding yeah remember adding different colors always adding colors makes it look a lot better and so as you can see here we added red and that's another emphasis point that you can see in here red really stands out and it makes it look cool over here let's add let's see over this uh, yeah so here adding a cool uh, roof to it always looks cool like over here we have a like this part sticking out and it looks really cool you always want to have some emphasis point on all your buildings and yeah, so yeah, look at that. As you see that, it looks kind of like a Nordic feel, like a Skyrim. If you ever played Skyrim, that's how it looks like. Let's see over here. Here's another example of some window seals and some like some window areas. You got that cover area right there. It's just like with carpets instead of wool blocks. And then we have the ladders right here. Kind of like it's supposed to be like a flower bed area. And yeah, so doing these cover things, you put string underneath it. And then you put carpet on top. And the string acts like a, like a regular block where, you know, you just place string above it looks really cool and you always want to make it feel alive all your buildings want to feel alive and over here we again we had if you, you guys need to check out some of my other videos and on my other video I I think it was like buildings the city streets or something like that building ideas and we had an ad part right up here you guys gotta check that out to see that because for some reason all the paintings and ba uh, banners yeah banners got erased but you need to check that out it looks really cool and adding walkways this was kinda like a gap in between these buildings and I was like, hey, we need to use this for something. So we, we put a little cover thing up there, and then we have a uh, another little banner thing going across. And I use stained, uh, stain, yeah, stained glass. I use stained glass to act like banners going across. And it, I put the beacons there for some light. It's kind of like an Italian villa area. It looks really cool. And you guys should do that on the exterior of your houses. I think they look really nice. Unlike like spaces that you can can do but yeah check out my other video for all this other stuff right here I don't want to show that off and ruin the other video for you guys so yeah just check that out I should have um, a description or it should be in this description and it should be in the video there should be like a little tab right about now somewhere around there yeah and so yeah that's pretty much it for this for this uh, always add like cool designs and don't have like just one one kind of material to use on the outside for like this is red wool don't always have that you know over here we have cracked stone brick and then you know on other places we have different other materials like over here well that's actually cracked stone brick but then you know over here we have this is actually red sand right here and then down here is brown brown stained clay I think it is you know just don't add one material on your on your different uh, buildings or you know don't add just all brown stained clay or all blue like over there and also if you're doing like a similar building design don't add the same color and even if you're not built doing the same building design always add different colors like this is blue that is kinda like tan that's orange that's green and that's red over there and then you know that's kinda gray it, it adds for you know a color variant and it looks really really cool so yeah check out that other video for those uh, those that side of the the uh, city or the village check that out and yeah so thank you for watching watching please like subscribe and until next time Bye-bye.